Hey all, in this video we're going to be having a look at a brand new module of mine simply called GBC Module 9. Uh, if it's not immediately obvious to you where the title came from, uh, trace your eye around this shape here and we'll see the balls form a, a rounded 9 shape. Uh, at one point I was thinking about calling it uh, Mobius uh, because it does have a Mobius strip-esque pattern in that the balls start on the outside, go into the inside and then back to the outside again. Um, and it is a continuous loop of chain. Uh, this is actually using a continuous loop like this is a, is a rather old idea of mine, something I'd sort of noted down uh, a while back and then didn't do much with, but was recently inspired by uh, a whole lot of building of ferris wheel style modules and thought I'd have a go at getting this to actually work in real life. Um, it is a standard GBC module, so we have our input is below 10 bricks tall. The output, well, we can see the little bin there, is under 10 bricks tall. Uh, the input and output are in line. Uh, moves balls at one ball per second. So let's uh, turn it on and have a look at it working. So first things we're going to see is um, all the neon panels lighting up. I've got a little bit of UV backlighting on those to give them stuff. a little bit of extra glow. And we also have all the gears. So one of the things about getting the kind of steampunk look was to try and have all these different gear ratios down the front are moving and turning. Um, and uh, if you look really closely, you might actually be able to figure, work out where these two rounds of gears are actually not contacting more. A little bit of a cheat there. The uh, ratios don't kind of don't meet up exactly between the starting point here and the starting point here. And we also have our little steam engine here and a bit of spinning down here. So let's put some balls in uh, and have a look at how they travel around. It takes a standard 30 batch quite happily and then we'll move them onto the ramp um, at one ball per second. You can see the balls now traveling up the inside edge, almost up to the top now, and they will continue all the way around uh, and get dropped off on the other side. Uh, this module is obviously very well suited to night running, so without further ado, um, let's have a look at some details of its running, uh, and we'll also have a look at some of the night running.
So that was my GBC module nine. I hope you enjoyed watching it running. Um, I'm not sure how robust this module will be. Uh, it hasn't been in production yet. Uh, by that I mean it hasn't been at a full two or three day show. Um, I expect the strain on the chain links will uh, make this a fairly short lived module, but hopefully I get a couple of good shows out of it and uh, people get to see it in, in the flesh. Uh, so thanks for watching uh, and I look forward to making more videos. Thank you.